Hey, Nikolai. Hey, Andre. Is that around these days? I think I don't think I I seen him. Uh, talked uh, with him. On ah, okay. Yesterday on Slack. So and he says it's pretty crazy situation in Tejas at the moment. Yeah. Uh, it's even impossible to buy a toilet paper. Always. Uh, Panically buy it. <laughs> it seems like like this is a common problem all over the world. I don't know why, why, why the toilet paper specifically, but it's really really strange. I think that, that there should be some psych psychologist, uh, you know, just <laughs> trying to to work on this and try to figure out what actually happens in the human brain in times of crisis, so that they. They go and buy. Yeah. So yeah, I know that for example, the bees when there is fire and when they smell smell fire, they go and you know suck all the honey honey that's in the in the in the hive and try because they they want to ensure their survival. So when when they migrate out of the hive, and yeah, they just want to move the the honey. But I mean <laughs> that's something that that makes sense. But toilet paper? Wow, strange. Good. I wonder if people are still joining the other the other chat at this point at this time or not sure. <laughs> we will check. <laughs> okay. How going in your area? Uh, I heard from some guys in France uh, that it's uh, mostly restricted to go out without a uh, real need. Yeah, uh, here is not that form all yet, but I guess we are uh, <laughs> we're going we're going there with uh, with full speed. I mean. Uh, People are just, um, you know, they they just need uh, some restrictions to be put more firmly. Otherwise, you know, uh, the, the, mm -hmm. the, uh, I'm just trying to skip uh, each and every rule that is possible out there. So once you, you tell them you, you know you're going to jail or you you have you know 500 euro fine, then. <laughs> Suddenly they start thinking more. <laughs> Magic. Hey, Frederick. How are you? Hi, Frederick. Yeah, hello. How are you doing? Yeah, how are you? Not many of us today, actually. You don't know Ed will join or not? Um. No, it's not going to be able to join. Yeah, he's, he's not going to. He's not going to be able to be in this thing. Okay, let's wait a few more minutes. Probably someone also will join us. Sounds good.
think we could start. Uh, does anyone have something in agenda? Uh, as I know, VPP agent was uh, released uh, 3.1. So I think we could uh, switch to it, probably. Uh, is, that, uh, is that currently in progress or are we, are we currently switching? Mm, at the moment we switch it to 3.0.1 and I think we need, I just checked it a few minutes ago. We wanted to release and we release it. Uh, there is one uh, um, interesting features probably we need for a new SDK from it. It's uh, ability to uh, poll the metrics uh, using a request without a real polling, but just send request and uh, receive the metrics. Uh, I'm not sure about the stability of the uh, VPP agent. Well, let's release. So probably we can try uh, update monorepo and check how this will be going. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, I will create an issue in this case. Uh, after the merge, uh, I will be able to finish the metrics pull request. It was uh, ongoing uh, and waited for this functionality to be released with a web agent. Uh, what else from our side? Denise, uh, I think you have some progress with a wire guard and uh, we found but modification of a pure modification of a IF packet uh, VPP component uh, is not fully logical. And at the moment we think about uh, having a plugin for a VPP to perform this required functionality. Could you uh, please uh, give us more details about it? Oh yes, uh, on last week I tried to somehow patch IF packets to make it work with layer three but I did not uh, find uh, any easy way. Actually, uh, we can uh, patch it, but it looks like uh, that uh, uh, a more easy way is just uh, to add uh, a plugin for VPP. Um, I, I also have some uh, opinion and uh, I have some options, uh, another options how we can fix uh, this problem with uh, incompatibility of WireGuard and VPP. Uh, and uh, Frederick, uh, uh, do you mind uh, to uh, discuss it uh, by Slack? Yeah, I'm happy to uh, to discuss it over Slack. Oh, fine. Uh, I'll provide details uh, by Slack. Uh, also, uh, uh, but, um, at uh, last week, I worked uh, with uh, DNS uh, simplification. Uh, we have discussed about uh, this uh, reset. Uh, I have provided PR, um, but uh, I also went to cover one conflict case. Um, actually, I found uh, one interesting case which uh, is not covered yet with uh, this simplification and uh, uh, I asked uh, Ed about uh, my solution for this uh, case uh, and uh, actually um, Ed uh, not uh, south at my uh, suggest su suggestion and I, um, uh, I, I will uh, complete my PR uh, when uh, Ed uh, uh, look at that my uh, suggestion. Um, uh, mostly that's all from my side. Okay, nice. Yeah, well, uh, send me the details on what you have and I'll, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, sure. Also on our side, we started to work on SMD and S manager and we're trying to, in a few days to fill the number of issues uh, with tasks required for different chain elements to be put into different SDK parts uh, 
for a business manager to be alive. The most interesting, I think, it's a forwarder choose a chain element. Uh, it's a part of a new concept from Ed about in replacing a forwarder with a just a point with the functionality of a forwarder. So probably right after it, it will be more easy to construct the final NS manager uh, application on a new SDK approach. Yeah, that makes sense. So um, I'm, me and Ed are, are going to try to work in order to get some more clarity on, on some of that stuff as well, because I know that there's still some, some gaps in the concepts. Yeah, that will be nice, yeah. So more likely it'll probably be later in the week uh, rather than sooner on that, just as a heads up, but we'll, we'll work on getting that, that uh, information out. Sounds good. Nikolai, do you have anything from your side? Cool. So let's see, in terms of uh, development, uh, um, I've personally have actually been sent home from my job because of the virus that's going around here. So I should have more time to spend in order to, to help you all out as well. So uh, I should be a little bit more proactive on some of the, uh, on some of the, uh, the code base. Um, with, uh, that, I think, um, the main, the main thing that we need to, to do is just, uh, get you all unblocked on some of the on some of the gaps and get you all unblocked with uh with things related towards uh towards wireguard and so once um, um so once that is uh is back me then i will so he's not going to be in today but he should be back i think either tomorrow or the day afterwards but once he's uh once he's back then i will uh I will work with him in order to try to get all this uh, this information uh, out there in a in a consumable format. Yeah, sounds good. Also, at the moment, uh, previously we discussed about uh, switching from current monorep approach of multiple gRPC servers per every client and endpoint to a single uh, gRPC server. And probably I found a solution and working on it. Uh, but uh, from the implementation point of view, I'm not very happy how it's going. The idea is to use the uh, bidirectional streams of Visual PC to uh, endpoint after caller uh, register NSE, do call a special method to handle requests and send responses back to NS manager. In this case, uh, we could use uh, just one server socket uh, without need for the endpoint client sockets. And if we will need the MEMIF, we could uh, still have a device plugin provided by a forwarder, but for a generic NS manager, we will not need the device plugin at all. I think it should speed up uh, the startup of the clients, of endpoints, and so on because the device plugin is pretty slow actually at the moment. Yeah, that makes sense. And so, um, so you said the implementation, like you've had a first pass at it, but you're still, still not like happy with where it's at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, initial idea was to like uh, client connect to the server, server uh, identify this client and create uh, the your gRPC connection and able to call back any of the gRPC APIs. But uh, I've actually could not find a very easy way to do so. So it's probably with modification of the portable generators, but I think it will be uh, too much <laughs> for such. Yeah, this, this, this is a problem with, uh, with gRPC itself, where gRPC is designed as a client server relationship, not a, not a peer to peer relationship. And yeah. so you you may run into problems with that. Uh, that doesn't mean that there's no way to make it work. I, there may be a way to do so, but uh, I can't think of an easy way to to do so off the top of my head. 
Yeah, uh, bidirectional bi bi streams are actually allowed to do so. So uh, it some complications on the client side when I need to handle all of these calls. So generic calls will work without uh, problems. Uh, it could be problems with uh, streams from a server to client, but I don't think we need such for endpoint cases. So probably it will be okay just for our solution. I will prepare a spec after will be mostly okay with uh, my experiments. Yeah, cool. Thanks for looking at this as well. Speed up, yeah. Speed up and simplify. Uh, most interesting, it will simplify an SM server since we will not need a workspace concept uh, in generic nest manager. It will be just one server socket and I think it will be much easier to handle and test. Cool. Yeah, definitely get us the uh, the spec earlier as well, so we can um, uh, we can get a sense as to as to what it's doing. Uh, we'll we'll try to we'll try to help you identify the the corner cases on it. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Nikolai, do you have anything from your side? Mm, no, not really. No. Yeah. At the moment, uh, we have tasks we need to work on so if nothing more important to discuss we can just uh, go out for some time and uh, join on a community meeting in 15 minutes yeah i think that's fine yep okay yeah see you in 15 minutes cool. in this case Thank, bye -bye. thank you all. Thank you all for your time. See you. Cheers. Bye.